Imagine for a moment, your pits smelling like nothing. You don't stink after you work out. Your teenager's foot odor doesn't exist. How is this possible? It's Lumi. Challenge Lumi to keep you funk free for 72 hours. Go to uglytruth.com slash Lumi. You can pick your favorite smell, the favorite type of applicator or stick or tube or wipe, and you will be amazed by your non-smelly body. Uglytruth.com slash Lumi. Welcome to the Ugly Truth. This is episode 528. That is one thing that will never go away. Oh, no, we have to We do have that. to do it. It's like our sound check. Well, we It's do, like our vocal test. We do it when we talk on the phone or <laughs> see like each other. Ever, although, I will say, have you noticed that whenever I send you a message, I'm like, hi, Ugg. Oh, I, I do the same thing. I can't help it. Yeah, I have to do it. I'm like, hey, Ugg. Except when I talk to Alice and she's like, hag. And I'm like. I know, that's <laughs> her thing. God. <laughs> all right. It's all good. She calls me smelly. She has been calling me that for. <gasps> I'm not. Really? So far from it. But no, no, yeah. no, I don't mean that, but I, you're right. She it's just did. a thing she d- has been doing for 20 plus years. So she calls me hag. I don't know who she She calls she, me that sometimes. She's never called me smelly. She, no, smelly's her word for me. That's for you. That's yeah, she, she that's pretty much term. says it to me when, I, when I'm like, if I call her and we haven't talked in a really long she's time, like, she answers the phone. She's like, smelly, what are you <laughs> doing? I'm like, I always start she's laughing. She's like, she's like a throwback to like the 50s right like she legit she's is. very calm she's which is very, so she's strange. a very vintage soul yes yeah, she is she really is a vintage soul. she was like 30 when she was 10 yeah she was a <laughs> conniving little bitch back then. no i'm just kidding <laughs> i know you think so oh no i don't but we all are she's just different about it she's diabolical positively she can be, diabolical. and so can i oh my god i'm the worst I'm just I have to ask God for, <laughs> when I ask for to be forgiven for things, like when I pray. When you die. I'm like, I'm so sorry that I was having homicidal thoughts again today. Like real <laughs> ones where I was really thinking about killing someone. What, are you Catholic? Not a random person, like someone I know. I was thinking in my mind how I would like them dead and what oh I would do. And God. then I'm like, God, stop it. I'm like, what are you doing? You can't you think know, about these things. I, I don't have homicidal thoughts, but I definitely fantasize about people I hate being dead. Yeah. And um, it's don't. a short list, but I yeah. mean, I definitely do. I, we, I'm sure we're not alone in that, but I just think about them like, you know what? I can't wait till the, I, and I, and I, you know what? I do wish for their death. I just don't want to be the one that does it. Well, I know. Is that's that good. Bad? No, I think I I'm, like I'm more logical too. where I'm like, well, it has to get done. And if I have to be the one to do it, then... <laughs> I guess fine, I'll do it. You know? <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm certainly not going to sacrifice my life in prison for this idiot. Yeah. You know what? So. Honestly, though. This has crossed my mind, and I don't know if you've thought about this, although I'm sure you have because you're about as crazy as me when it comes to things like this. But I have sure. thought, I'm like, you know what? If I was dying of cancer, if I was, like, legitimately oh going to die. Oh, my God, I would die, kill someone. There are some people. I would absolutely kill someone. That I would consider. Yeah, me too. And I would be like, oh, they're in prison for this. Although, <laughs> even though as we sit here and talk about it, I can't think of who they are. Me neither. But when I'm laying in bed at night at 3 o'clock in the morning and I have insomnia, I know I exactly list. who they are. Check, check, check. <laughs> But I would yes. have to be, like, legitimately dying. Like, I'd be like, bring oh, them yeah. to me. Bring them to me. Oh, my God. Speaking <laughs> of, yesterday I watched Stepmom. Stepmom? Oh. Oh, my God. Have you, you've, you've seen that, right? A hundred times. OMG. I was alone. Jerry was working. Jeff was in his room. I'm premenstrual. I was sitting on my couch fucking sobbing. Like, <laughs> like crying. I saw that movie in the theater with Kim. Oh, God. We were in the theater at the night of the, pre- it was a premiere night. Oh. It, we, so we had, like, movie premiere tickets. Yeah, that was when you used to get. Back in the day, yeah. right? And so we were sitting there watching it. And, of course, I, I relate to both. Me too. Because I am a mother and I'm also a stepmother. And I've endured hell as a stepmom. Right, So, right. I mean, I get it. Right. And so I'm watching this and I can't remember. It was, it's when the little boy is asking him. It's, it's at the very end when she gives oh, him God. his cape. And that was the like, part that I was crying hard. He's like, the first time I saw that, he's like, nobody loves. Me. I was like, stop. Stop! Know, in fact, if you start talking about it, I, I could seriously cry. Like I'm it not. was so. Susan Saran was. They, they both were brilliant. actually that was brilliant. A really good movie. It's a good movie, and they both executive produced it, which I love. I thought it was great. I love the part when they're in the bar, and she's like, "You're lying. You never lost him." You know, like, she's like, why didn't you tell me that? She's like, "You know why." <laughs> 
I'm like, this is so real. It's like, that's, absolutely. But the, the truth. worst part of it was is that she was dying and knowing, you know, that you're just I figuring know. out this relationship with your husband's new wife. However, I will say, if she wasn't, I don't think it would have gone like that. No. She would still be a total. She, in fact, you, there were moments where even though she wasn't talking, like there was no script, you could tell she was like, what am I doing? This woman's going to be caring for my children. Yeah, I'm, I'm I really dying. can't be an asshole. Yeah, like I have to figure this out, yes. you know? I send a TikTok to um, my kids because this is my way of sending them advice about adulthood. <laughs> it's the only way. And I think, I'm sure they roll their eyes at me. I'm positive of it, oh, well. but I don't care. But there was this one and it said... Uh, tell me some advice that somebody told you about marriage that has always stuck with you. Oh. And this one girl comes on. She goes, it was my ex-boyfriend's mother. And she said, the, the worst a man treats you as your boyfriend is the best he'll treat you as your husband. Ugh. And I'm like, I'm starting to go back in records of all the, the boy, ex-boyfriends that I've yeah. had. And I'm like, that is 100% true. That's probably very true. 100% true. Yeah. And I'm like, this needs to be screamed from the mountaintops. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen. It probably applies to both. Oh, no, it does. I've known girls who've treated some guys like shit. I can't. Like, they just pined for them and, and chased after them. And the girls were like, eh, they cheated on them. Or yeah, they were mean like, to well, them. and. That's a weird gene. It was strange. Yeah. You know anyway. what? I've known girls who use guys. I've never been a user myself. Me neither. Me either. I mean, I'm not above anything, but I'm just saying it's just not been my thing. Like, if I'm not interested in you, I just don't want it's you around. It's just over for me. But yeah, you know, it's funny. It's like, oops. I was telling my kids, and I told them, I've been telling them this for years, and, I, and they don't believe me, and then they slowly start to warm up and realize. And I said, here's the thing. I said, you will never, ever ever want for partnership or, or coupledom or relationships or companionship. Yeah. I go, you will have to actively choose to be single. That's true. Because you will never have a problem getting someone. Getting somebody. And, you know, I know that there are people who struggle. Yeah. I get it. I said, but because we're raised with, like, we really don't need, I really don't need you. I'm fine on my own. Right, And That's when you're true. raised with that attitude, it's very attractive to people. So you will always. Which is why the needy people of the world are always single. Because they, sm they smell of it. Yeah, it's you know? horrible. And, so, and it, they don't even know they're doing it sometimes. I know. But anyway, so I said I told that to them, and they're like, oh, right, well, look at me. I will always need to. And I'm like, no, I'm telling you, you won't. So finally, they're Try just it. like. Try to be single. Yeah, I said, I actively, I had to actively choose to. I was kicking people off of me. And then when, when you end a relationship or they end it with you, they're like, well, I don't really know. And I'm like, that's right. Go. Get out. Yeah. And I'm like, you'll be back. And they always. always come back. It's true. Once you tell them, you can't quit them, you'll be back. And they're like, yeah. okay, whatever, ho. And they walk away. I'm like, eh, you know, I move on oh with my, my God, life. Oh, my God, it's so true. And then they're like, hello, what are you doing? It's oh been my six God. weeks. See, and mine was always like some stalker. It was never just, I love you. I like, had a stalker. D -d 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 knocking at my door. I'm like, oh, God, what? Yep. Get yep. away. It's true. It's absolutely the truth. I'm so over you. I know that there are women who relate to this. There, there has to be. There's no way. I mean, it's like a very God, common I, thing. I hope so. Ugh, we I can't remember, possibly be alone in no, this. No, we're not. It's just... It's just fun. And I'm not me. saying like, oh my God, I'm so amazing no, that they're no, stalking me. It's not no, that. it's not even no, that. No. As a matter of fact, when my when I the guy wasn't really a stalker, he just wouldn't accept the fact that I didn't want to go out with him anymore. No. Yes. Yes, yes. And he would like come to my house and I was like, oh, that's, you know, you know what? that's unacceptable. It was a little stalker ish. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't just show up at someone's house after they broke up with you and expect to be let in. I remember one time uh, I ended we ended things, this guy, we ended things, and it had been about six weeks or it was like five or six weeks and he called me and he's like, How come you're not like begging you, me back? What are you doing? How come you haven't called me? I'm like, um, because we no longer exist. Yeah. And I'm not. We broke up. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, aren't you, haven't you moved on to your, like, girl three by now? Oh, my God. And he's just like, well, I don't know. I did. I'm like, yeah, bye. Yeah, he has. Goodbye. God, have you ever looked up any of those people now? Um. If you can remember, like, their names. <laughs> I was going to say. It's I have so to, horrifying. I have to remember their names. Okay. You're the only it one. It takes me a while. I'll, I'll remember the first name, and then I'll mull over it for a few weeks. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I'll be like, Doing! And, and like, like, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. And I'm oh. like, I'm shaking while I'm doing it because I'm like, what am I going to see? Yeah. And when I do, I'm going to be like, oh. Do you remember? I went out with you. <laughs> I let you inside me. Ah. Do you remember the guy that um, had the Ferrari? Yes. Larry. Okay. Oh, I was about to say, he had some 
total like porn name. It was Larry. He looked like a porn name. <laughs> and so anyway, I remember. Larry, so he was like a little weasel. He, he was wasn't little, but hardcore coke addict. I mean, yeah. it was, the whole thing was so bad. Anyway, it ended. He's like Don Johnson in Miami Vice. It ended poorly. And mm-hmm. it was, I mean, really poorly because he was still married and I didn't know. That's right. It was the worst. Oh, I remember that. It yes. was the worst. I was like, I cannot believe that I didn't see this. Like, yeah. I'm usually pretty good about yeah, it. Yeah, but you were really young, James. I was, I had my son. I wasn't that young. Well, you had your son at, what, 20? <laughs> anyway, uh, I found out because he invited me to go skiing and I drove up there to go skiing and Paula watched Tyler for I me. I remember. I went up there. A woman answered the door and I'm like, hi. I go, is Larry here? And she's like, um, yeah, sure. Hold on. And then a the, uh, the couple of kids show up. They're eating pancakes at this house. Oh, my. Why? In Squaw Valley. It was a cabin. And why so did he invite you up there? I'm standing there going, this isn't right. And I so. Think, are you his sister? So she goes upstairs. She's like, he's upstairs. I'm like, okay. So I go upstairs. He had been partying all night. He was totally coked out. There was drugs and alcohol everywhere. And I'm up there going, what the fuck is going on? He's like, oh, that's just my best friend's wife and his kids. They went skiing and and they she didn't want to. And so and I was too hungover. So I'm here. And I'm like, why did I come up here? Because I wanted to go skiing. Like legit. I was yeah, in my like, ski clothes. I wanted to right, go Right. Like I thought we were going. Yeah. Oh my God. So then suddenly... I hear her yelling, and I'm like, what's going on? He's like, oh, I don't know. So I open the door. She's like, I've called your wife, Larry. She knows about this. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm leaving. Oh, so she was uh, legit. She wasn't the wife. No, no, no. Oh, God. I thought she was the wife. No, no, no. I was, like, tripping. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Oh, my God, no. I would have never. She would have said I'm his wife, and I've been like, there has been a humongous misunderstanding, (laughs) and I would have left. And so, anyway, she's like, I called your wife. And so I was like, what? I, I legit had no idea. And so I said, he I'm leaving. You. And he's like, and then the woman goes, get your shit and get out of my house. To him? Yeah, to him. Oh. And I'm like, I'm leaving. And she's like, she would not even pay. She, I was not the you issue. You didn't exist. I was yeah. not the issue. And so I walked out the door and I was like, holy shit. He ran after me and he's like, please, I need a ride home. They're not, they're like not going to take me home. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, I have to fucking lose. And he goes, I'll pay you. And I said, Okay. So he gave me a hundred bucks. Oh my God. I drove him. We we're halfway there and he starts crying in the car. <laughs> and I'm like, this is literally the worst. Did you I guys s- talk at all? No. And I said, you know, well, he apologized, but, but, and I said, I can't believe you're married. I'm like, this is absolutely hilarious. And right? really, I feel like an idiot. I'm like that poor lady and her, yeah. her children. Oh my like, god! What? I can—they must think I'm the biggest slut on the planet. Well, I'm like, this no is idea. horrible. We hadn't even slept together. Well, did he? Did was he like wasted when he told you to come up there? Must have been. And because what was he thinking? I don't know. He remembered. Mm-hmm. He knew I was coming though. That was what he's like. Oh, you made it. And I'm like, um, like he thought everybody would just be cool with this. I guess. And so we're halfway home, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, wow. I'm like, I any shred of respect I had for you in any way whatsoever is completely gone. Oh my god. That He's is... like, can you just drop me off at this restaurant and then I'll just call a cab? I'm like, absolutely. So I pulled over. What did he not want you to pull up in front of his house with his wife and kids? I didn't want to pull up in front well, of his house. I would have dropped him off down the block anyway. Yeah. But and just... so I dropped him off and he used the payphone and I'm and Maybe I never that was from... he had a story like in his mind, okay. I'm going to say, it's, you know. He's fucked. That yeah, lady I wonder called she, his wife. I wonder if she stayed. No. So I looked him up. Oh, okay. Like like 15 years, later. 15 years later, I looked him up. He lives in San Diego now. His children are adults. Uh-huh. And yeah. he owns like a GNC. Oh. Like he's like a franchise. But he's always been like kind this entrepreneurial. Dude. Yeah, I remember you know. that. I remember that. How did he get the Ferrari? I, I don't recall. But. Who knows? But I was just like, okay. I'm like, well, he looks exactly the same. Yeah. Same kind of guy, and I'm like, you still got that fro? Prob- okay, probably doing the same stupid, doing shit the he same was stupid doing. shit. You know, maybe he's off the coke now because you know Hopefully. it's not the '90s anymore. Right. But anyway, it was literally the worst, the worst story of my life. Oh that my breakup, God. and you know that asshole had the audacity to call me like two years later. Ew. I know, and I'm like, no. And I hung up. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I think I even changed my number at that point. Right? Oh my god. It That's was so, so funny. Oh my horrifying. god. Speaking of age, so I turned a, a new birthday a few weeks yes, ago. Yes, I know. We've been talking about this the last couple shows. And I'm going through some kind of midlife crisis. <laughs> right. 
So we know about your ordering. When I'll you tell were in Hawaii. you. I'll tell you why I started going on this this next level. And I know it's not a big deal for a lot of women because a lot of women get Botox and fillers and they don't really talk about it. It's just like a normal thing. A lot yeah. of people do. It's like getting your eyebrows waxed. Yeah. Uh, but I've never thought about it. I mean, I've thought about it, but I've never been like, yeah, I'm definitely going to do, do it. it. Yeah. Oh, I so have. So I went to Hawaii with Daryl. We took all these pictures. I'm like, I look like shit in every single one of these. No, my, you don't. The, the, the lines around my mouth are, he- are deeper. Um, I just wasn't really happy with everything. And so I came home and I immediately called and made an appointment with this, this medical spa place that yeah. does this stuff. That does... Best in the town. Injections, yeah. And I got an appointment. And everybody's trying to get in, so I have to wait. It's not for a couple of weeks. Right. Like I said last week, it's still a, a few weeks away. Uh. So I so got... So is it in July or June? It's at the end of June. Okay. So, uh, but you will be able to see it. Actually, next time we record... It will be done? Yes. Oh, God. If I, if I get anything done. Because I don't know how it works. So, of course, I yeah, get the paperwork. They, 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 you walk in and they do it. I get the paperwork. Not be like, Come back in a week. No. I get the paperwork yesterday and they're just like, fill out your health records. You know, and they're like, you know, skin <laughs> has a lot to do with your diet and your water intake and all of that. How do you do on that? You know, so I had to be honest about all that stuff. And so I'm like, okay. They deal with a lot of acne and stuff. I think that's yeah. why they probably ask. So anyway, I'm like, all right. So last night, literally, I dreamt about it all night. I'm starting to get scared. <laughs> Are you going to back out? <laughs> no. Oh, 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 God. oh God. Hell no. Okay. No, I told Daryl last night. I'm like, be prepared. I go, I go. I bet I don't even look that different. He goes, you're going to look different. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. I go, I'm going to look the, the same. The idea is to make you look more youthful. Just rest it. As yourself. Yeah. It's not to make, yeah, you're not getting a nose job. So I'm not getting any of those filler, that fillers that make you look For like a joker. Yeah. I'm not doing any of that stuff. I go, the things I like are weird personal things. It's like, and they do a lot of it. A lot of women yeah. go in there and get this thing that I want done, done. For sure. And so did I tell you about the threading? Yes. Okay. They do that now. The, at this place that you're yes. doing? So are you thinking about... I was like, are you doing the threading? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Well, I thought that was like five grand or something. Or is it twenty? It's like 2500 I oh, said, okay. but I'm not doing that. I said, I, I'm i not doing that. I've never, ever been to anything like this. You've got like to start with like, baby steps. I'm having anxiety already. <laughs> and I'm like... I, I got the name of the nurse that's going to be taking me in. I don't know if she does the actual procedures, but I, I got the name, Googled her immediately. She's stunning. Yay. And so I'm like, all right. And she's a real nurse. So I'm like, I okay. I so. Yeah, well, I didn't know. You know, I'm like, is this like a Botox party where some girl goes, okay, ladies, let's no, go. Oh, God. You know, I don't know. So I'm like, no, it's very serious. And they take it very seriously, just like place doctor. And there's a real doctor there. Yeah, okay, her her first name's not doctor. <laughs> it's you know she's a doctor so anyway but i am getting i'm getting nervous but i'm like no i'm not is chickening it, out is it nervous or, in, or anxious well i don't want her to fuck up my face no that's not gonna happen that's that's my nerve and the other thing is is whatever you i'm assuming it's temporary right everything's temporary yeah, yeah. so even if they fuck it up you'll have a <sighs> knot on your cheek for a month and it'll go away <laughs> Thanks a lot. And then you're coming with me. Well, that's why you're going first. Yes, but I'm... Well, I'm... You had a rare reaction that never <laughs> happens. It's a 0.1% I know. that people get scar tissue permanently developed. It's going to be on our gravestone. Our familial gravestone will be like, they were the epitome of this never happens. Of rare and unusual things. God. Every time mom calls, she goes, well, this never happens. This is incredibly rare. But... We don't even need to preface that anymore because we already know. And it's true. It's true. It's so true. She goes, well, the, the, the thing that I have, they've never seen before in 30 years. And I'm like, well, of course not. Because why would they? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So anyway, Which is kind of scary because every time you take something you've not taken before, you're always wondering. I'm like, I'm going to be that the one thing on there that says extremely rare reactions <laughs> to this are. Your teeth fall out. Right. But wait, it never happens. An instant death. Oh, my God. So anyway, yes. But the other thing. And I'm not going to do it this time. But the other thing is, you know, the fat pad we have down mm-hmm. here that we hate under our chin. They have a yes. shot that will like burn off the fat. <clears throat> oh, I like that. I do too. Are you awake? Yeah. See, I. Ugh. Well, it's like a gradual thing. They don't just suck it out of your chin. Oh. They like. But we all have this little fat pad. Everybody in our family has it. Yeah. Where they put a little shot in there, and it like eats away the fat. Now my oh. only concern is the skin will then sag, and I don't yes. want that. So I'm going to ask about it, but I'll tell you about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Anyway, so. Well, it's probably like a two-step process. Well, first we take the fat off, and then we have to cut the skin out. 
It's like, oh, great. It. I'm not doing it. No cutting. And then I what can't. happens if you gain the weight again and then just like... <laughs> <laughs> end up looking like one, a frog, you know, when they burr. Yeah, yeah burr. I can't do it. I don't want that. Oh, God, that would be horrible. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you, I don't you know, that's do why that. if you go down this road, you have to really be committed to I'm continuing gonna it. I'm going to be so incredibly conservative because I'm I'm terrified. And, at, you know, a few weeks ago, I was really excited. Like, I'm going to do all the things and it's going to be so great. And now I'm just like, well, maybe I'll just get a consultation. We're just talking about manic ups and downs. Yes. And, yeah. But it's my anxiety kicking in. And yeah. it's funny. I told somebody, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm have an appointment for a consult for, like, Botox or fillers or whatever. He goes, have you never done that before? And I went, no. And he goes, oh, okay, well, congratulations. Can't wait to see you. Welcome like, to the family, yeah. I'm like, oh. oh, so this is common? And I'm just being a big baby? I had no idea. Yeah, I think it's pretty common, but I just, I think, I don't know why I we think we're just getting to the age to where it's common. I can't I imagine guess. people have been doing this for 10 years. I mean, we're, you know. I've heard of people saying you have to start in your 20s. And I'm like, no. why? I would never. I'm don't, not no, in my 20s. don't. Just put on moisturizer and sunscreen. I, yeah, I wish I would have done a lot more of that. Well, I have to say, I am I am not excited about her telling me how much sun damage I have. Because I'm sure I have oh my sun God, damage. Me too. And I don't want to do the UV light thing where she can show me all the sun damage. Like, why didn't they put sunscreen in? makeup from the gate. I don't know, but it's brilliant. It, and they should always have had it in there. I mean, they should. They've always known that UV light is bad for your skin, so why didn't they not... Ugh, whatever. We used to sunbathe with olive oil, Jamie, Stephanie. Jamie, butter and Crisco <laughs> and anything we could find that we thought would baste us better. Who's using my good olive oil? Stop! God! You're like turkeys out there! <laughs> she did say that to us. <laughs> That's funny. She's like, stop using my olive oil! That's for cooking! We used we everything know. Mother had. She could keep nothing. She needed a little. We ruined safe. everything. Oh, that's what you do with your children. God, I remember when she had vodka in the freezer. I'm like, you really think this is a wise choice to just have it <laughs> sitting in here with four wild girls? Who are- I used to do that with, with dad because dad always had liquor, yeah. and he didn't really drink that much. No, like, but he had it, and I know. so it's almost like you I just would like- drink it. And then I would put water in it, thinking no one would know. Yeah, and I mean the thing about dad. Which is so odd to think about was he was actually pretty cool about shit like that. He was. He could have slayed me. I mean, I he, think I expected to get crucified. The weirdest things ticked him off, but he's like, "Yeah, be completely ridiculous. I don't yeah, care. Go get ahead drunk. and steal my truck and drive around when you're 12." He thought like, that was funny. Well, not only do you think he's like admirable. Yeah, it's really good. He's like, "See, she knows how to drive a stick. She's 12." <laughs> No, like, it's true. I remember. I don't remember when this was. It was at the my old house. But Daryl and I were having a party or something. We pulled out some booze and everything tasted like water. Right. Everything. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm like, who did this? I'm like, try the tequila. I'm like, it's like tea. Like the vodka <laughs> water. What's going on? I'm like, what, God, duh. I, I know what's going on. But I was like, I can't you believe You had to try my children. Those little rascals. <laughs> <laughs> and my daughter was a freaking saint. She's like, Mom, they were going to try to drink it. And I said, no. She didn't do anything. God, she literally did She nothing. was a good kid. Very good. She's still good. She is. Oh. Okay, so as far as the celeb world goes, there's a few things going on. Kanye West is now dating. Okay, I thought it was Irina Shayk. Yeah, what is it? I saw somebody on InStyle Magazine on TikTok. She said, Irina. Irina? She's Russian. Oh, and she so is. it's Irina. And because every beautiful woman on the planet is it's Russian. Russian. So true. But she's also Bradley Cooper's baby mama. And I'm yeah. like, what is this woman? And she also was dating Ronaldo, Chris, Chris, Cristofo Ronaldo, that really hot soccer player. Oh, God. I can't, I don't, I'm sure I said his name wrong. But anyway, they dated for a while. And then she met Bradley Cooper. And now uh. they broke up. And, you know, I think we all think and know that it's because Bradley Cooper was having an affair with Lady Gaga. I know, but what, just nothing ever happened with that? Like, they just messed think, around during the filming and then it was over? Then, yeah, but it was probably so intense. And, I mean, it seemed pretty Well, I mean, if she me. was just like, look, you cheated on me, we're done. You know, whether it She's lasted like, or not. I need a shake. I can have anybody. And, yeah. she, and, you know, and she left. And he's Bradley Cooper and he can have anyone. God, he's so cute. <laughs> he is adorable. Oh! What's your favorite Bradley Cooper movie? Not because the movie was good, but just, like, him in it. Well, I loved him in The Hangover because I, he was so fucking hot. Oh, okay. He that's was an so older movie. goddamn hot. Well, that's when I went, hello, who is this? Yeah. I mean, I know he was in Wedding Crashers, but I mean. Barely. I barely remembered him in he that. He had a shaved head. He was ugly, and he was yeah. an asshole, and he got diarrhea in it. I didn't want I didn't care. <laughs> but um, in The Hangover was the first time he let his hair grow long, and he was wearing that black button-up Armani shirt. I'm like, 
Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, he is so gorgeous. Like, get over here. And then on top of it, he was married and had a little girl in that movie. And I'm like, I, I, how do you even... How get do any you, cuter. Yeah. How do you function with this person in your life? How does that yeah. happen? I loved him in Sniper. Oh, oh really? Yes. I don't know if it was because he was in the military, if because he, he was an assassin. Maybe, maybe. Um, or he was just an all... Because it was a, based on a true American story. Cyber, right? Yeah, American yeah, 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 That's yeah. what I meant. Sorry. Yeah, yeah uh, well, I like him with longer story. hair. Yeah. So when, so when Star is Born came out, yeah. I was such a naysayer. I'm like, I am not. I am not I getting into the hype. Well, I was like, I'm not getting into the hype of this. I didn't go to see it at the movies, but it came out on HBO. Yeah. And I said, fine, I'll watch it. I watched it. I'm like, tell me something, <laughs> boy. And I'm like, see? Ah! I love this movie. My thing with that movie before it came out, when I was anticipating whether or not I was going to like it yeah. or not, was mm-hmm. I'm like, well, the cast... You can't get any better. Like, if I no. had to pick someone to do this movie in the modern yeah, time. This is it. I this mean, Lady is Gaga is the shit. She, she sings, was ah, so, good so good in that movie. So good. So, yeah, he was the one where I was not sure he was going to be able to pull it off, but he totally did. He pulled it off. Yes, he did. <laughs> I'm just like, he's a mess. And, like, they, there were parts, I said, there were parts, like, I was telling Daryl when I was watching it, because I watched it alone for the first time, which is the way it should be Oh, done. absolutely. I did, too. And I said, there are parts where I finally started to forget it was Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Because he's so attractive. So good, yeah. And he's so cute to me. He's yeah. so attractive that I'm like, I just, you know, I can't. All, you all see I'm is Bradley seeing Cooper. is blue eyes and how yeah. hot he and how gorgeous his hair is. And then suddenly, he became an addict. And I see this tortured musician who has a lot of baggage. And then finally, I saw who he was portraying. And I'm like, this dude deserves an Oscar. Yeah, he's the very only good. reason he didn't get it is because um, there were some political things going on. At the and, time. And he was the only white guy nominated. And they're like, he ain't getting it. He deserved it. He, yeah, it was I agree. so good. I agree. And Lady Gaga was really good too. But she's anyway. getting better and better. As she's getting ready to come out, she's going to be in something else major that's coming up. Versace. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh my yeah. God. It's going to be remember. amazing with Adam Driver. I'm like, yes, girl. I know. I love, I love her. Adam, I love Adam Driver too. Well, Woo. I'm glad she's. I'm glad she's um, doing something else besides singing because she has said that you know she's felt really taken advantage of. You really? know, I mean, it's at times. I think she's oh. in control now, but I yeah. think when she was up and coming, you Oh, know, for sure. She was so incredibly talented that people were just clawing, you know, to get to yeah, her. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes and she's sense. like, and I, at some point I was looking at myself in the mirror, I'm like, who am I? Like, why am I doing these things yeah. for money that I would normally never, never do? do? She's like, I'm yes. not doing this. Yeah, she's I'm, like, done. I'm done. I remember that, actually. I do remember that. Yeah, it was some So interview. now his baby, so she's hooking up with Kanye, and I'm like, where's your baby? I don't get like, the where's your child? What are you doing with this guy? And I don't understand what people are attracted to with Kanye. I, he I must be really know. nice, but he's crazy. I don't know. I mean, he's. I mean, you can. I don't. I don't dig the unmedicated uh, tactic when it comes to mental health. Yeah, health. agreed. I just don't understand when we know so much. Yeah. But he's so afraid that it'll affect his creativity, creativity that he will not do it. But it's caused. Well, I think it's caused the demise of his marriage yeah. with Kim, yeah. for sure. Well, Kim said, um, uh, one thing she did say on last night's episode was that he is, because I think he's manic yes. or bipolar, yes. he will leave and go to a new state and moves. buy a house and just go. And, and start she's like, and I want him to find someone who's okay with that. And I'm like, no one's okay with and that. she's not okay with it. Yeah, they have four kids. No she's one's like, okay I can't, with yeah, that. So. That's insanity. Yeah. But I appreciate the fact Although, that she didn't trash him. So many. Our dad moved us every year. I know. Every year of our lives. We'll and our dad is that. bipolar. I, I think we used to think that he was running from something. He like, was. Like people or things. I don't things. know. But I mean, all I know is that it was always a quote unquote fresh start. Yeah. And that it was, and he, to this day, I mean, now I don't think he's, we haven't spoken to him in so many, t- so yeah, long. like decade or so, but uh, I, from what I understand, he's in the same place now. Yeah. But he, even after that, he moves. He moved, moved, moved. And he's constantly wanting to move. Every year we moved in our yeah. childhood. We never stayed in same I wonder ever. why. Maybe it's he, he feels uncomfortable and he feels like he has to escape. Why does Kanye have to move every yeah, year? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean and that's thing. the thing with Kanye. What gets me about him, I, sh- I, I sent you, I messaged you um, that puffy jacket. Yes, that yes. He has going with the Gap. Yes. And I'm like, it's you know. It's going to sell out. It did. Yeah. It sold out. 200 bucks. I mean, it's not that terribly expensive, but it it, it was just ugly. It wasn't a pretty blue. I just I didn't like the style and that people were talking about the fact that it's a, a jacket with no zipper. Yeah. 
It's just What's the point. It's like a shell. You just wear it's like it. A shawl. Yeah, it's just literally for a poncho. <laughs> Not really a poncho, but. And I've looked at his stuff, and I'm just I don't understand. I'm like, do people just buy it because it's Yeezy? Yeah. And yeah. they're like, oh, it's Yeezy. It'll be worth money one day, you guys. But, but it's ugly. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm not. Ben and Tin used to be popular people <laughs> and expensive. Do you hear about them today? No. I used to. Everybody wanted Benetton or Benetton. Then. Benetton. Yeah. What was the other one? Um, a spree. A spree. Oh, sport. my God. I had to have a spree. Remember? Oh, yeah. I remember. I had to have Benetton. I had a Benetton sweater. What were the names of those dresses we used to get? Jessica McClintock? Yes. Everybody had to have a, a Jessica McClintock uh, gunny Prom sack dress. dress. Gunny sack, that's what gunny it was. Gunny sack dress. Oh, my God. That's so old school. Oh, my God. Yeah. And they're all coming back in style, and they're ugly stop as it. hell. I can't. Yeah. I'm like, stop it. Leave it behind. Still Please ugly. leave it behind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hate oh it. Oh, my God. Um, okay, so, yeah, so she's hanging out with Kanye. I don't know how long that's going to last. Oh, it'll last a minute. Well, Bradley's going to go, hey, you have a child? He already did. He did? Yeah, they broke a story about it this morning saying that he's, like, absolutely, like, what are you doing? This you're guy not is taking fucking crazy. This baby. You're not yeah. taking my daughter. He's like, look, I don't care who you date, but this guy is nuts, and you're not having him around my child. He's Thank mentally you. unstable, and he I'm is. not having it. Yeah, and he is. Oh, man. Mm. And Kim Kim um, took the baby bar again and failed it again. I uh, now I read about the baby bar. Yeah, and the baby bar is for people who don't go through law school and right. they go through mentorship or whatever, like right. like Kim did. And according to an attorney that I saw, it's harder. It's way harder. Yeah. and she's like, it's like a ten percent success rate. Yeah, like it's nobody incredibly passes it. difficult. Yeah, and so it, it's not as bad as everybody. Uh huh. She didn't pass. No, no, no. no. It's actually. Most attorneys probably couldn't pass it. I agree. It's I, really but, hard. But what, what, what gets me about her, that's why I'm like, you really, and I, I understand Kim to the point where she's like, look, I will sell whatever I have to sell to yep. keep myself interesting and to keep mm-hmm. myself in the spotlight. Yes. So her going to law school has been her shtick for the last year, yeah, two years. Yeah, she'll be like her dad. Yep, and it's just a thing that she's going to be like, look, people are paying attention to me. They're they're interested. They want to know. You know, even if I never pass the bar, it doesn't matter. People were watching me for two more years. Yeah, that's true. You know, so it's like, I don't think she ever really had an intention on being a, an attorney. Because if she truly, really wanted she to be. She to law school. She would have gone to law school. Yeah, but in California, you don't have to. Well, that, yeah, if you but have, unless you really want to be one. Well, here's the thing. If you have the aptitude, like, I, in all honesty, and I'm not just blowing sunshine up your ass, I think that if you did what she's doing, you could pass the baby bar. Yeah, yeah you could. Absolutely. 100%. You're smart enough. If I had all the you advantages have the that tenacity, she has. Yeah. If you had the tenacity and said, you know what? I'm going to be a fucking lawyer, and I'm going to yeah. pursue this, you absolutely, it would happen. I know you would. I know you would. I don't know. Brilliant. You're so smart. You could do I'd it. Love, I, 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 would, I love the idea of going to law school. Like, I was like, that part McGeorge of George School is, of Law is fun. right here in our backyard. I know. You I could used to date a guy who was going to McGeorge. Did he and ever become an attorney? Did you look him up to see? I did look him up. And? He did not. Oh. He, in fact, while we were dating, he explained to me how it works. So you have to be, when you take, when you're going through law school, you have to be like in the top 10% of your class to keep going. Like if you start, if you're not, if you're either average or below average, they, you're out. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, me. it's hard. It's wow. really, really, really hard. At least this was 100 years ago, rather. Well, that might but be But yeah, and so he was, he graduated from Cal Poly. Very smart guy, so he was going to get his law degree, and he could not do it. He's like, I just kept hitting. I was average, average, oh, average, that a would little bit below so, average. So that would drive like, me insane. So he got out. He you have to have a drive, uh, an, an unusual drive. You have to be drive. very, very, very like above average. First of all, I think that you could do it. Hands down, I think you could do it. He was doing a lot of partying. Well, that. <laughs> I mean, and not that I didn't have anything to do with I wonder that. If that had anything to do with why he was yeah. average. So oh, I mean, I think funny. yeah, like, a real a, the, a real <laughs> scholar of the law isn't going to be distracted by no, not you know at partying. All. Not at all. And um, kind of okay, so enough of the Yeezy. Um, yeah. I'm so uh, Brangelina. Yeah, they're, they, they're not really in the news anymore, but we kind of wanted to talk about they're it. They're trying to be out of the news, I know. I had no idea that they were still fighting over children. I don't know what, I, you know, I'm really wondering what happened to them. Why that is they, she so she angry? She hates him. <laughs> well, the only thing I can think of is when the when they got divorced, apparently... He was having some problems. Well, he he's a pothead for sure. And he, he well, he's was an a, alcoholic. He's an alcoholic. Apparently... And a drug addict, it sounds like. Maddox, their oldest, the oldest... 
they were getting into a confrontation on a private plane. Yeah. And Brad physically grabbed him by the arm or yeah. something. It something wasn't even happened. like he didn't hit him or anything. It was just like he got physical in the sense that like, hey, you know, and he grabbed him. Yeah. And Angela Lee's like, don't you touch my child. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, they're my children. No, they're not. <laughs> and so I think she has never let that go. I agree. And for all we know, maybe it wasn't the first incident. Who knows? Maybe that was just her breaking point. Yeah. Well, all I know like, is Like, I'm not doing this. You're going to keep putting your hands on the kids. This is never happening. All I know is that he is stone sober now. He is. And he will, you know, but that's not enough for her. And she's going to make him pay till the day she he dies. Is punishing him. <laughs> she is like, fuck you. I don't give a shit what people think about you. I yeah. know the real you. You're fucking asshole. And he's like, you're crazy. Like, legitimately she nuts. She is is legit crazy. He's like, yeah, can you imagine the kind of insults they must have hurled at each other? Uh, I mean, no. like, whatever, blood around the neck. Yes, Billy. I was just thinking like, that, too. You know, all your First crazy- of all, let's not talk about the fact that you were married to Billy Bob Thornton, okay? <laughs> and that you French kiss your brother! Oh, God! <laughs> and that your dad is John Voight! What more is there to say? You collect children like chess pieces! I know. She's like, that's <laughs> it! <laughs> well, the thing, and the other thing about Angelina... Just, and you have a small dick. I know. Oh, I've not had enough of this. I wonder if he's a god. Wait, don't you remember the paparazzi photos of him and Gwyneth naked in their backyard? Ew. Because he dated Gwyneth for years. They were going to get married. His, I think he's a grower. A Her, grower? Yes. I don't think he's a shower. I think he's a grower. I've seen the penis photo. And I'm like, well, it's not the most impressive thing. But I'm guessing that he's probably quite fine when, when it needs I mean, to be real. If, uh, you, you, okay. It, it's not always true that a man's physique has something to do with his penis size. I have been yeah. pleasantly surprised many times. Um, I married my pleasant surprise. Right. And yes. I've also been pleasantly astonished at someone who was bigger <laughs> physically and had like the smallest dick ever. I know. I'm like, that wow. Means- so it doesn't always yes. mean so. But Brad is not a huge guy. No, he's a moderately thin, tiny. He's a, he's a movie star. He's They're tiny. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, know how you tall know. he is, actually. I'm not sure about the height. I, I'm going to say less five than six ten, feet. Yeah, 5'10, 5'11. Sure. He's probably like a slightly below you average. You know what? That would be really disappointing if I met Brad Pitt and he was short. He was a midget. I'd be like, really, Brad? <laughs> oh, I'm not allowed to say midget, sorry. No. Small person. He was a small person, yeah. I, I don't know. Um, so anyway, yeah, but you know what? Now that you say that, I think about like some of the big A-list celebs. They're all like that kind of stature. They look like they came from the 1800s. Like Kevin Bacon and Tom Cruise. Well, they're all so small. They're, they're not they're, big. They're yeah. Like, they're like, back in the 1800s, men were very, very petite. They that's were true. small people. And so it's like, that's who they are. They just, they don't eat anything. <laughs> yeah, they don't eat anything. That's true. I would, you know, Good honestly. I could, Rob Lowe. God, he's. You know what? I could never be a celebrity because they would say you need to lose like seventy pounds. Yeah. And um, so then, and then we'll do whatever you want. And I'm like, absolutely not. I'm not giving up wine. So. I know, right? I'll just be the the new. I swear that's the only reason why I'm overweight is because I like alcohol. <laughs> Because I will, I have traded food for alcohol many times where I'm like, I've done that. Well, you can't have both, Stephanie. You can't have a full thing of pasta and wine. I have told people, and I'm like, well, I if I go carb, I'm essentially, I hardly ever eat pasta. I hardly ever eat yeah, anything that too. has carbs in it. Like, literally nothing. But I will well, drink I wine. Bread. Yeah. Oh, I don't eat bread. I can't remember the last time I had a good piece of bread. Oh I'm God. not kidding. I but that's just so I'm addicted to, like, Togos. Punish myself. Oh, God. I haven't I had love it. No, I don't. I eat so I eat the the healthiest food so I can I drink. Know. <laughs> you get freaking almonds at the Shut up! Oh my god! You're like, so I got some almonds and some healthy. I'm like, why? Because I can't. Why? Because I, if I eat anything unhealthy, I look five months pregnant immediately. See, uh, you can't. know what? And you know my problem at home because my husband and my child eat the same. Yes. They both eat like five year olds. So, like for me, I there's never a moment where I can just like, hey guys, we're having a salad with like some chicken breast like, tonight. Like, what is this salad? What is this? <laughs> yeah. Well, what are we gonna have? <laughs> Right? I want a hamburger and fries, Mom. Anyway, so I guess they, so Brangelina, they've worked out their custody battle. Well, she's pissed because he's he, got custody. She lost. She lost. Yeah, he gets, She was going for full custody, and the judge gave 50-50. As he should, by Absolutely. the way. Absolutely. I mean, just I just, because they're not married anymore does not give her the right to own the kids. I, I hate was, women like that. I do too. It's not. It's uh, so unfair. I lived through it. We went bankrupt to get Thank fair. Thank you. By the way. And it's it so dumb. Ridiculous. And it's like, why do you think? I mean, unless you're a drug addict or right. something really wrong with you right. that would be detrimental to your children, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they have a right to help raise the kids. It's so. Even if you hate them. Yeah, he's not a bad 
father, and it's no. been determined. Anyway, so the final thing is um, Benefer 2.0. Oh, my God. I We did not talk about it because I didn't know. I wanted to wait. I, I thought wanted, it was not real. I wanted to give it a minute because I'm like, what if this is just for, like, a movie? Or, I thought like, it was, like, yeah, like, well, maybe she's just reaching out some to press. old friends for support, you know, because she just went through a bad breakup. Yeah, and I just, I didn't know. But now, no, it's like it is in full swing. They are She's moving to she's, L.A. She's uprooting her children and moving to Los Angeles. And I'm just like, wow, okay. And then I'm thinking about it going, and, and what's, actually what's hilarious is A-Rod is, like, publicly mourning the loss. He is. And it makes me laugh hard because well, he, he must have done something really stupid. He's super fucked up. Yeah, he did. But he here's had what, to have. Although was was you were you and I talking about this? Ben sure came quick, didn't he? Like yeah, you no. Know, you were telling me that you thought he was in the wings. I'm just wondering, was there something something like <clears throat> when she, when Jen? No, you and I have talked about this. J Lo had her team investigate, and she found out that Adrod was fucking around. Do you think she's like okay? Well, this is definitely going to be over. So I'm going to get my attorneys on untangling myself from all these business deals. But in the meantime, yo, what you doing, Ben? I wonder if they were maybe friends. Like, oh, I know, I, I'm I know sure they, they were. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. you know, they've been friends and, and, and whatever. And maybe she's been confiding in him. Oh, my God. Like, this and, has and been it, going on. And his and dick is hard the whole time. Hi, Jen. How's he, it going? Yeah, I don't think he ever wanted to not marry her. I, well, she ended their wedding right. two days before the wedding. Yeah. Can you imagine? No. Especially a celebrity wedding. And now he's got that fucking tattoo, that big old phoenix tattoo what? on his back that he got. No. It's this full color phoenix tattoo. Ew. It's really garish. But he didn't have that when they were married because she would not. She'd be like, she's not the Absolutely type. no. We will not be doing that. Mark Anthony doesn't have any tattoos. No, I guess no. he doesn't. I mean, they might have little ones. But this thing is full color, full Ew. back tattoo. Well, that's him. And she's just like, so typical. well, I guess this is something I'm just going to have to learn to live with. You know what's so funny is when he got with Jennifer. Gardner. I yeah. was so surprised because okay, the movie. Two it, months later, by the way. Yeah, well, they were in Pearl Harbor together. I yes. guess that's where they met. Okay. And I was I watched that movie millions of times, and I'm like, God, the, the cast in that movie, the women that they cast, yes, they're all beautiful. Yes. I mean, what's her name? The Kate one, Winslet. Kate. No, Kate no, no. Beckinsale. Yes. Who, oh, I my love. God, she's so gorgeous. I fucking love her. God, and in that movie, she is just like breathtakingly Stunning. beautiful. Yeah, and I'm like, why didn't he end up with her? He picks the ugly. Glasses, <laughs> dorky one. You know why? Because, well, first but, of all, she was married at the time. And second, she likes him young. Jen? Oh, yes. Jennifer? Yes. yes. Uh, no, Kate. Garner. Kate oh, Beckinsale. Oh, Kate Beckinsale. She likes him young. Was she married? Who is she married to? I can't remember right now, Nobody but it was probably, somebody famous, and I can't remember. It, it was, was somebody, somebody It's someone hot. But then Jerry's she's, just absolutely in love with her. Every well, time who she isn't? She's, she's like, gorgeous. Her. <laughs> no, she's gorgeous. Daryl loves that movie Serendipity with John Cusack and Kate Oh, Beckinsale. I know. I love that movie, too. Is she English? Yes. Yeah. And he's like, don't you just love this movie? I'm like, she I know you best, do. <laughs> she does the best American accent because I never knew yeah. she was English. She is. Yeah. Her and Catherine Zeta-Jones. We were talking about this last time because yes. Kate Winslet and Mare of terrible, terrible accent. Not terrible but just not completely perfect yeah she didn't she doesn't get it she didn't nail yeah, it yeah yeah but um Catherine Zeta-Jones my god I, I, I when I found out she was English I was like shut up I was like no way <laughs> I know I know in America's Sweethearts with um, I love that movie I do too John Cusack. I'm the only one that I loves love that it. movie no I love okay, it well, you. but whenever I watch this it's movie so- at home Jerry's like ah no you know, got, I mean like the Rotten Tomatoes it's like a three percent I mean it's so poorly it was Billy like crystals in it somebody said it was more like a it was more like a Hollywood did this John to Voight's in it no no not John Voight who's the guy that plays Hal Wide- Wait, Wideman no he is is that John Voight John Voight is in it you're right he plays the crazy director yeah he's the crazy director and remember they do a close up and everyone's like, eee. Every I just remember when that movie came out, they're like, This was This is rebuff. This was uh, this was Hollywood jacking off to itself. Like yeah. it's so self it's so self self-absorbed. self-absorbed. All about but Hollywood. I love Catherine Zeta Jones' character. Oh my she's god, hilarious. she's like, I am Kiki. outraged. Geeks. <laughs> she's like, I am outraged. I am shocked. <laughs> You'll hear from my attorney! She's good in that movie. I love her, yes. Like, so we decided to get back together. And he's like, oh, gasp, like, what? I don't know what do I do. Should I give him the divorce papers or should I get back together with him? I'm like, God. <laughs> and it is not a roll of giggles. <laughs> that was such a good movie. She's like, really, it's like this. Like this. I like that movie, too. I love it. So I don't know why someone I else like likes it. it. In fact, Julia Roberts is the worst part of that movie. Well, she is, except for I like the part where she's eating, like, 
10 tons of she's breakfast. Like, you want to know what falling off the wagon looks like? This is what it looks like. And she's like <laughs> shoving sausage in her mouth. I would love and to And she's like, that. Kiki, Kiki can somebody smoking within six feet of where I'm standing? Stop them. <laughs> God. That's a great movie. I don't know. Okay, stop. Sorry, anyway, guys. So, Benifer. <laughs> yeah, so cutting ben, a lot of that. Ben and Jen are together. Such a trip to me. I want we'll to know what happens, you know. I don't know, I don't man. know if they're, I think their camps are confirming that they're together. They said they're yesterday. They're certainly not denying it. Yesterday they said they are hopeful and they are oh, okay. excited and, yeah. you know, it's all. And I'm like, you know what? I kind of hope it works out for them. I I'm not too. kidding. I, I mean, they're both much older. I, I don't think he's, I don't sure. I don't sure. I I'm not sure if he's got his addictions in order. I, I don't know. He's got quite a few, but yeah. I know that he's constantly trying to be better. He's an Oscar winner, man. He's no, he not. Is. He's a talented dude. Somebody was, I can't remember who, what interview I was watching, but they were talking about, I, you know what, it might have been Jennifer Gardner, because she, <gasps> she's so open. Yeah, she's really and open And on about social it. media and yeah. stuff. And she's like, the first time I met Ben Affleck, I was like, my God, he is absolutely gorgeous. She said, in really? real life, he's stunning. Well, he's, he's pretty so, cute. And she's like, and his, his personality is, like, magnetic. I don't doubt that. She's like, I was literally like, <laughs> the first time I met him, you know? She's like, so, yeah. She's like, everything you think about him, he's that, and then some. I'm like, I just, I, I don't, I, I want Jen, Jennifer Lopez to find, I want her to find her person so badly because she has everything else. Everything. She's just like the Kardashians. Well, she's like Mariah Carey. Why, is that woman Mariah can't Carey. keep a relationship with never... her. You know, someone should slap my mouth for comparing J-Lo to the Kardashians. What, the, what am I thinking? Yeah, not the same. That's inappropriate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hurt my own feelings when I said that. I'm sorry. Apologize. Right? No, but you're yeah. right. Mariah Carey's the same way. You're you know, right. she's, she's rich beyond rich. She has the kids that she's always wanted. Yeah. I mean, she's literally attained every possible accolade known to mankind. I think that real powerful women in their industry is intimidating to most men. I think I just so, think too. It is. But and they I have also think, they're, I think that Mariah is legit d- difficult. I think she's just a total, she's a self-proclaimed diva. But, yeah. I mean, it gets to the point where it's a little nauseating, well, you know. At some point, you got to drop the facade and be real. Right. I mean, you can't you can't be the Mariah from Glitter that every, you, you can't be that person all the In time. In real life, yeah. You, you have to let that down at some point and I be I think normal. Nick Cannon was her best op- closest, choice. Closest, yeah, yeah, yeah. And even he was like, God, I'm over you. Like, you know, I know you're all You're that, a lot. But you are a lot, yeah. And it's I, like, be a lot with your crew, but not your family. And I think Nick Cannon is, is about as real as they come for oh, a celeb. I think so. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. love him. I think he's hilarious. Uh, he's good. He's good. He yeah. likes to stick his dick in a lot of other things. I was going to say, doesn't he, too, have, doesn't he have herpes? He's getting, no, no, no that's Usher. <clears throat> he's getting ready to have another kid with another person. Another woman. Oh, well. Uh, it's, yeah, and his choices in women are questionable. Mariah nah. was really the best he was ever going to get, but. It's true. Okay, enough of the celeb talk. Do you have an ugly and awkward moment of the week? You know, I racked my brain and I really didn't do anything this week. I didn't I didn't have one either, <clears> which <throat> is good news. I told Daryl, yeah. I said, didn't I have an awkward moment? And he's like, I can't think of anything. I go, I think I almost fell, but I can't remember. <laughs> so we'll just I have a it. bruise on my belly, what? on my stomach. <laughs> and I was like, I think I vaguely remember running into something. Like I told you, I don't, they're not memorable to me anymore because I do them so often yeah. that I'm like, okay, who knows what I did to mm. deserve this bruise. But I was like washing today in the shower and I'm like, I have a freaking round. It's, it's round. So whatever I hit ran like into a something. Thing. Oh yeah, for sure. And I just don't remember what it was. <laughs> I was like, well, this is interesting. Oh God. All right. Well, we don't have awkward moments, so that's the end of that. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, thank you uh, for listening. And uh, from b- based on our data, you guys listen to the bitter end, so thank you. Oh. Um, so. Because oh. something stupid might come out of our you mouth. You never know. Even at like, the last minute. I don't know. They might say something dumb, so just keep listening. You never know. Something. All right. Well, thank you for listening, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.